Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Every daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back to <laughs> We're going to Hollywood Studios. It's the noise of a tram. If you want It is very sad to see Hollywood Boulevard struggling so much with all the retail shops. Looks like Route 66. Oh all the gosh, closes don't down say Ma it! Ma and pa shop. Don't it, say even it. over here. Closed. <laughs> yeah. Keystone Clothiers was my favorite place to get some AC and some look at the, the newest, newest fashion in pajamas. Guys, and pajama pants. I forgot to bring Peter clothes to change into. So check out this awesome, this awesome climate controlled outfit. Long sleeve shirt. Thick. Jeans. Yeah, that is a it's thicker a, shirt. It's, it's like one of my, I got undershirt, thick long sleeve, jeans. jeans. Shoes. But we didn't say it yet because we didn't start vlogging until now. Is Sarah had like just an absurd day. Beginning with us getting up super early to go see our fertility doctor, which we'll explain more about that later. But then went into us looking at an apartment, then dropping me off at work, then going home editing a vlog. Vlog had an issue with the Beatles song, and then so she had to re-edit part of it and upload it. Then we were waiting for Matt and Ben to put on the internet that they to announce their engagement so we could post our video because that video was like half about their engagement. And we wanted them to be the first. And then she had to pick me up from work and cook dinner. Did I miss anything? Um, just like in between client calls and whatnot. We had a couple so. calls. So just a crazy, crazy day. So we're driving so away forgot. from the office and Sarah's like, I forgot clothes for you. I was like, I'll be fine. And I changed my outfit. Earlier I was in jeans and I was like, I gotta change. And I'm like total in summer mode, but I'm sorry. I'm okay. We were so excited to go and launch one man's dream, but I thought it closed at seven. Please. Time for a They probably know all the secrets, their name. I it's also Walt realized Disney. that my arm really hurt because I gave multiple vials of blood today out of my right arm. Oh gosh, I thought you just had one. No, three. What? Yeah. Nothing better than a good carnival cannon playset. You know what I mean? Oh, she's grooving. She's feeling the music. It's taking over. Oh, I smell something delicious and full of meat. There's vegan grilled cheese and there's vegan tacho bowl at Woody's lunchbox. For all intents and purposes, it's not like super terrible out with temperature. There's a bit of a slightly less than room temperature breeze yeah. that keeps coming and going, which is nice. And we kind of have like a relaxing relaxing plan. Like we got a fast pass for Tower Wait, Terror. That's the whole reason why we're here. What? Tower of Terror Fast Pass. We got one. Sarah there. got one. So now they're offering them again. Yes. We haven't been on it in months. Right. We're so excited. We're gonna go scream our lungs out and then relax fully. Watch the good, good old, old classic. Classic. Phantasmic, yeah. even though it's a Tuesday. <laughs> I'm just saying everything. <laughs> what is that centerpiece right there? I am full. But I just like want it all. I'm like getting. I want this apple almond tart. Do you see the vegan burger? Like, what is it? Yeah, it looks divine. I also like have cruise belly, and I haven't even been on a cruise right now because I read a whole article about how from 2000, like April 2019, about how it's better than people realize to be vegan on the Disney cruise. Like, it's it's, it's manageable. Thinking of like weaning off to eat fully on the cruise, but. After this article, and I started reading it this Sarah, but we'll read more of it tonight. We haven't. Um, I'm leaning towards sticking Good with the we vegan. We have like five months. Yeah. Sarah said that they'd moved some walls, so we came to look, and we forgot cast member previews are going on right now. Have we said that we got a preview? We got a preview, 
But I can't go to it. Sarah's gonna have to go by herself or find somebody else who got it. He's gonna be at Dom's bachelor. I'm literally gonna land in Sanford at 11 while Sarah's in the middle of this. I was the one who booked the... the um, at first I wasn't even gonna be able to go on anything because of me. hopefully I was gonna be expecting, but now yeah. I get to go. And now look at this like tabletops. There's all these cast members coming in and out having a good time. Never seen a Goofy and Max ornament. Look at this, it's super cool because it spins, but it's also ironic because the aliens have their own teacups. <laughs> this one's really sweet. This one's really sweet. No, oh, these are sweet. Uh, uh, literally. That's got Carolyn Earhart written all over it. This is in my belly written all over it. We can't leave these people here like this. Uh, we can't? Uh oh. Hi, Sal. It's me. Listen, I'm going to need a bigger car. Make it a stretch. Single rider line for the win. Look at this. Long, long, long line. We have a fast pass in a half hour. It'll be interesting to see how long it is because the line itself is 120 minutes. I think there's only one elevator going. Here we are just to relax and for our fast pass in the depths in the corners of this place <laughs> called. Fairfax. No, I think Fairfax Martin. Far Fairfax Fair is up there. This is I, this is my favorite quick service, but I'm yeah, super I think sad the I don't remember. whole thing is called Fairfax Fair. Sunset Ranch. Sunset Ranch Mar Market Ranch. So we say we're gonna take this time to talk about our appointments. I will preface it that today was going to be like supposed to be like closing down the study mm -hmm. and talk about next steps. And I'd like to let you guys know before with all the suspense and details is that it went as best as it possibly could have given our circumstances. Yeah. So we're so, happy. Yeah, we're really happy. They gave us a new protocol. We're still going along with this study because we do get, um, like through the study, we get frozen transfers if it was unsuccessful. So that's where we are. And we just have to wait for my next cycle to start. And then we're going to go on in start again and so basically it it's the next next week. Yeah, it won't be as intense because we already have the embryos, so we're gonna mm -hmm. kinda skip ahead to prepping Sarah's body for the transfer. Yep. And then make sure one of the only they're only because we're still doing the underneath like study guidelines, they're only gonna do one embryo again. Yep. Um, but our clinic has a ninety seven point five percent thaw rate, so and we have strong embryos, so hopefully the embryo will survive thawing. Yeah. And, and it could be but as yeah. early as like middle of August, towards the end of August, would be transfer, transfer. somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. yep. And then a two week waiting period again. Right. And uh, we do just have to make sure my body is all set before we go again. So again, like yeah. no cysts, everything has to we look could, good. Yeah, we could get um, delayed. So yeah. I'm going to go back to what I did before the last cycle. All the hoodoo voodoo. All the hoodoo voodoo. Um, the hoodoo -voodoo. Um, to make sure that everything is good so that we can start next cycle, which is really awesome. Because we yeah. thought we were going to have more of a delay. So. What was great about going in today that like we talked to Sarah's mom about afterwards is like as much as like this is like devastating and broke our hearts the past week Unfortunately Like the clinic like staff sees this all the time mm -hmm. like failed like Cycles and on average like I think the number is like two to three it takes two to three on average IVF rounds for it to work yeah. And we knew that going into it, it still right. broke our hearts, but it's like so bro it, to them it was like right. It's so devastating because it's us and we're going through it. But they see it all the time. They know day, what to do next. The so frozen were, transfers do have a higher success rate. And, but they were still so caring about it. So like right. our main, our, like our other nurse Kathy, who was with us today, was like, she's been doing this for 25 years, and was like, I get it, guys. Like mm -hmm. I'm here for you. I'm here. Like this isn't about just the job for me. It's about you guys and your family. Like I think everybody needs to leave here with a baby. Like she yes. was very intent on that. Um, but the cool part is my body is like rested now. Like it's yeah. resetting itself. And before it went through a lot, the meds and then the procedure and then the transfer. So we feel really good that my body yeah. will just. We thought going into it that it would be potentially three months from now until transfer when now it's going to be maybe three weeks. Yeah, so we'll see. We feel good. We just got to wait till the next cycle. We haven't gone on this in so long. I feel so happy. I'm super nervous, kind of. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone.
<laughs> Confession, two confessions, major ones. One, I think Sarah and I both agree that was the best Tower Terror ride we've ever been on. And it like, I feel like we got like shake a lot. Like and we were like. We stalled and looked outside yeah, for a oh long time twice. Yeah. It was and, great. And like two full big drops, but a lot of in-betweeners too. And the next big thing is that, I don't know if we've ever said it, during our vacationing days, this is, was, and still is, my absolute favorite Joffrey stand is this one here, right outside of Tower Terror. They got sweet cookies and muffins and deliciousness. Alright, sadly for the health and well-being of our lives and health and sanity and souls, minus our Disney parts, we're skipping Fantasmic. It's 9 o'clock, we would get home Peter close to 10. Really late last night. I was up late last night running, then got up early today for the doctor, and I have to run tonight, and I don't want to go home and run again late to go to bed late to get up early again, so we're gonna go now. Plus, I miss Eve. Yeah, so it's good for all. New Princess leashes. They have all those for icons of the And Lil Tutu. And a rose gold spirit person. This is one of my favorite beginnings. When Harry goes, shut up. Right, Evers? You love it? Oh, gosh. Get an ice cube out. Get it. You're so thirsty. It's magic that Eve's been on Sarah for like 15 minutes now. Just relax, She even can spray the. I was in the kitchen in her tree closet. She didn't even run over. Alright, we are getting ready for bed. But I wanted to show this special sign here because we're going to do something cool with it. The daily message. Of all the things you wear, your expression is the most important. So I look like this because I fell asleep on the couch. But we have a couple things. So that sign, first of all, that sign is from our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. It is from Disneyland. Cars Land. Cars no, Land. It's from Disney's Disney California Cars Adventure Land. in Cars Land. And it's super special to us because it's a Mickey Mouse Route 66 sign. Mm -hmm. And it's from when we drove all of Route 66 on our honeymoon. Yeah. But life changes, styles change. It's not coming with us to our new home mm -hmm. in September. So if you... It's the same thing as the other giveaways on the Saturdays. $20 donations give you an entry into that giveaway for this one and any future ones. Because we have three more weeks after this one? I think yeah, four. Four weeks Wait. after this one. Three or four Wait, weeks. More. This Saturday, during our Saturday live stream, we will get pull the winner of like a random raffle of all the lists of people who have donated at least $20 or more um, to see who gets that cool sign from... DCA from our honeymoon. Yes. Guys, we think we found our apartment. We may have found our apartment, and we also decided that the very first thing we're doing with our new apartment, well, we're doing a lot of changes, like a lot of like aesthetic changes to our decor, like freshening refresh. up. But the first thing, a big, deliciously comfortable, comfy, cozy couch. Yeah. So we're going to start looking for that. So uh, good. A good appointment today. Yes, we're gonna contact them tomorrow. Let them know we'll jump off the application on Thursday, I think. So we shall see. We might have our new home. Yay! Did you do the message? I did. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.